Excellent! Yay! Hey guys, Jeff Dickinson here. Welcome back to the Collector Zone. Now, if you're like me, you've been using the Sega Genesis old school, you know, on your old original hardware, or maybe you've been using your current gen system. I currently have the PS4. Now, this is a really good collection. It's over 50 games in the Genesis. I did a video on it. I'll put a link below if you want to check it out. But today, we're talking about this bad boy. Yep, in here is a Sega Genesis Mini 2. So there's some cool games on here. We can do the unboxing and check it out. But also, there's uh, some games on this one. It's on here too, so we can check that out as well. It's going to be killer, man. And so it was, late in the 20th century, that a pox fell upon the land. A plague of home videos that were limited in intelligence. There was brain drain, and terminal boredom swept the countryside. The maker looked down and was not pleased by what he saw and said, this is not good. And so it was, he brought forth Genesis, a system with twice the power, twice the intelligence, twice the challenge, twice the fun. Only a chosen few were called forth to experience this new dimension of high definition graphics and stereo sound. And the maker saw what he had done and said, now that, that's not bad. Discover Genesis, and your world will never be the same. Man, this is going to be killer. I was so happy to get this. I know that this has been ordered. It was a pre-order I did on Amazon.com. All the way from Japan. I'll put a link below if you want to score one. But... This is really cool. Here it is, guys. And now, I always like to take a look at the box. This is what you guys are going to get if you get one. There you go. Of course, there's all your games. Now, you know, I did notice there's a few games on here that's on this system here. And going to be kind of hard for you to see so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and I'm going to put little blue dots in all the ones that are in this game right here the uh classics and by the way this is really good like I said links below but let's go ahead and uh let's show you that Yeah, so there's 13 games, and one of them was one of these ones that were supposed to be, you know, new, kind of, sort of, yeah, introducing, as they put it. All right. Power cable, cool. HDMI, can't have enough of that. There's your controller. And... The system itself so let's see how the controller stacks up wow hey it really feels like an original old school Sega and I have a my original one right here from the back in the days for comparison and it really looks yeah, it looks and feels just like a brand new Sega controller. Pretty cool, huh? All right. But this controller is USB. But it's all, you know, it's made very well, just like this. This one has a little more of a texture to it where this is smoother. But hey, still feels good. It should play very well. And here we go. Pretty cool. 
There's your power reset. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm really stoked on checking this out. Oh, they, oh, dog broke it for a second there. Nope. It's like a... Oh, that's right. There was an expansion thing for the original. Okay. And this is too small for cartridges. See? And how big is this? <laughs> About as big as the cartridge. Yeah, kind of, sort of. All right. So let's uh, check out some gameplay and check out some games. Stand by. All right, so I got this powered on and it goes to this menu screen. So go ahead and choose English. There we go. Now, I had a power brick inside that box when I did the unboxing, so it does come with a power brick. So let's see here. Let's check out the settings. I don't need to read anything. Languages. Oh, cool. That's all the languages you can do in. Okay. Game settings. Screen. All right. So that's the original aspect. And that stretches it. Don't like that. So we'll do this. Wallpaper. Huh. I don't know if I'm keen about wallpapers. What that looks like. Kind of looks like an old school TV right there. Eh, not much for that. Black. Normal. Little boombox stereo thing going on there. Uh, a lot of these I'm just not feeling it. We're back to the original. I'm going to just stick with the uh, black background because we're want to look at the games and sound settings. That's a new combat design, and this is the 16-bit uh, video enhanced system. That sounds more muffled. That sounds cool. Yeah, stay there, okay. I just want to make sure I didn't screw up. Mode button setting. Quick open. Oh, I think that's how the... Yeah, I want to open up quickly when I look at a game. All right. All right. Now, here's all of our games. Let's see here. Recently played. Let's go ahead and... I don't know. Sorry, guys. All right. Let's see here. Release day. A to Z, Z, Z to A, I mean, <laughs> genre, uh, number of players, C first, we'll go to C first since they talked about the C games, so, let's see here, we'll look at them here, see all the games we get, like I said, the, uh, the thing was a surprise, they got 13 games that was on the, uh, little collection that they released on the PS4 and I think Xbox and Nintendo they released it for. Not 100% on Nintendo or Xbox, I don't have that, but that's a good collection, like I said. And this one, the reason why I got this because I want to check out the uh, CD games. And plus it has some games I know that i never played before. You know what? I'm kind of curious. So, on the collection I had before, Streets of Rage, was uh, you're able to do the uh, Japanese version or the regular version. Let me see if they give me a choice. Uh, 
Oh, it just hops right into the regular Streets of Rage. Huh. So let me get off here. I hit the mode button on top of your right hand on the right hand side of the controller. Let you save it. Let me return return to the menu. I want to see something here. I'm curious because uh Let me do this here. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay, that shows you the side view of everything. I want to try something here. Um, let me go ahead and go to my settings here. Let me change it back to that. I'm curious on the languages. So if I go to Japanese, all right. I think that goes back to my menu. Okay, so I was right. Okay, so basically, this U.S. version, I'm not sure about the other ones that's out there overseas, uh, like the uh, Mega Drive version that's over, you know, for them, or the uh, Japanese version of this one, but it seems like they have two versions of this game here. You get the Japanese Mega Drive game system, and you get the regular. All right, let's test out that theory. Uh, let's look for Streets of Rage. I know that for sure has... Let's see here. There it is. Can't read anything it says, but... I like the, this Japanese version of this game. Uh, all right. So my theory is correct. So if you go into the menu and change it to Japanese, you get all the Mega Drive games from Japan. So all those people who are ordering this, the Japanese version, they didn't have to. <laughs> There we go, that's cool. Alright, so let me hit the mode button again to get out. I think this is the menu one. So you gotta kinda of memorize where everything's at, but it stays the same. Alright, I'm gonna shrink it to the sides here so I can get over here quickly. And this is, should be English. There we go, back in English. Alright guys, so there we go. Now you know... This is how to get the Sega Genesis and the, uh, let me go back to this. The Sega Genesis and then back to the uh, regular uh, American version. So you get American and Japan. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to mess with all the other languages. I'm not 100% on that. But that's just something for you guys to figure out. But yeah, this is pretty cool. All right, so let's check out the games. I've never played Echo of the Dolphin, so that'd be kind of interesting to play. Final Fight, I like that. I never played the CD version, but I played the arcade. Like I said, the reason why I got this is because I wanted to uh, play games I've never played or seen before. Um, that one, <laughs> I remember hearing about and never played. Those uh, movie video games were pretty big back in the day. I gotta see what all this stuff is about. Kind of cool. So, so everybody who doesn't have this yet, this is going to show you uh, a little bit about the games and talk a little bit about it. It's kind of cool. It'd be kind of cool that if you hit a game and it gives you option to do the Japanese version or the American North American version. Plus, also, I wanted to play some of the games that they said that they call it introducing. 
I have this for the uh, Super Nintendo, so it'd be cool to check out the uh, Genesis version. Clay Fires was always really cool to play. I enjoyed it. I enjoy fighting games and shooting games. And those um, RPG games that where you have to do a lot of reading and talk to a lot of folks. Not into that, man. Earthworm Jim 2. I don't know if I played that. I would remember if I did, so I'm pretty sure I didn't. You know, for the money, um, you get all these games. I paid a uh, like a hundred bucks shipping because it's shipping from Japan was twenty some odd bucks, I like to say twenty three or twenty six. It depends upon the window. That's right. I think I paid more because it get, it, I was able to get sooner when it got released. Because folks who chose the uh, cheaper version, the uh, cheaper shipping, they said it could be up to the 15th, I think. Nice. Let's see how those driving games are. I played those in the arcade. That's one of those games I was telling you about, the RPGs. Not a fan. Not a fan. But you know what? There's games here that says extra right there. I might, you know, check out. Well, I'll check out all these games. I mean, I might. <laughs> I own them. Might as well play them. That's a strange game. I played a few times. I have to get the hang of it. Rolling Thunder 2. I played that in the arcade. One thing I have to say about Sega Genesis is that our, our arcade ports are really good, really close to the uh, originals. And that's saying a lot. That's another one that was on the other. Yeah, the, the listing that you saw earlier, there's 13 games on this system here that's also on the uh, PS4 version I have. I played Splatterhouse the first one. I never played two, so that, that'd be a trip to check out. It's really cool they put the year when it came out. I love Streets of Rage. The second one is my favorite, and the third one, the Japanese version, is really cool. And of course, anything says year 2022, I'm assuming it's new. For us to check out and it's never been released i'm assuming i think that's what they said Vector Man, I love the first one and the second one. Both of those one and two is on that other um, collection. I think the Virtual Racing was an arcade port at one point. I think it was. We're back to Echo. Let me get out of here. Now, let's go do this real quick. I want to go back to languages. I think we could do the here. Yeah. Let's check out the, uh, all the box art. It's kind of cool to see what it looked like over in Japan. It's kind of cool that they did this.
Cool. So let's uh, check out some gameplay. I got pop into one of my favorites. I was not disappointed in how it played on the PS4 version. So we bypass all that. For you guys who have never seen what it looked like in the Japan version, how it starts, we'll check it out. A lot different than the North American. I'm assuming it said the same thing as it did in English, but don't remember all what they were talking about. It's been a minute. <laughs> Button controller feels really good. It's really solid. It's a little a hair lighter than the original, but not by much. I mean, it's not like super light. I know there was some out there. The aftermarkets were just terrible. The um, I think it's old school as a brand. It was terrible. Yeah, man. Place really nice. And it... It looks just beautiful. This video probably won't do it justice on how it looks. Yeah, I knew there was someone lurking about. There you go. Ah. Uh oh. Lost my back. Oh, it's gone. coming through you. Oh, I see what I did wrong. I gotta let them through before I can kick their ass. <laughs> Come on. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here save my spot. Is this is safe. Yeah, top one safe. There we go. All right, go back to the main menu. Oh, I think that's the main menu. All right. There you go, guys. Oh yeah, it's, it's all, yeah. So you got the spines, really cool. 
And of course, you know, flip it back if you want. There's your Mega Drive. You got the Mega Drive and you got advanced language. There you go. You got the Mega Drive and the Sega Genesis. Same time. Cool. Well, thanks for the hang time, guys, at the Collector Zone. I want to give a big shout out to all my friends who, new new friends, I, I call friends now. <laughs> I always called you guys friends. My new peeps are hanging out here. And uh, just thanks for, you know, joining the group. And big shout out to my OG subscribers. Oh, man, you guys. You guys are killer. Let's see here. I'm going to go play a game. Happy gaming, guys. Links below if you want to check out the other unboxing for the, uh, well, the other viewing of the uh, other um, collection of games, as well as the link to buying this. And now you know, don't buy the Japanese version. You get this, the Japanese version and the original Sega. Layers, guys. I'm going to play me some <laughs> Clay Fighters. I like playing as this dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks for the hate time, guys. Sorry. I was prolonging. Later.